I'm Ian Lafreni. It's my longtime partner, Dick Clement. The other day I was leaving a building and somebody said, who's that? And I said, it's Ian Lafreni. They didn't want to know who I was. I was quite hurt at the time. It's a kind of rock and roll fable, but it's also very, very funny. It's about the chasing of fame or the desire for fame, which is, seems to be a very um, pertinent thing to a lot of young people um, at the moment, wanting to be famous, and certainly Neil McCormick wanted to be famous, and this is about him coming to terms with the fact that it didn't quite work out the way he wanted it to. Well, I don't think you have to be a rock fan to see the show. I mean, it's about the pursuit of fame and the cost of failure. It's something that all people identify about, it, and if they can laugh at it, it's an even better evening. Doppelganger, I think it must be terrifying to have a doppelganger. Uh, I've had a stalker, but that's different, I suppose. When I was much younger, there was the famous actor Dudley Moore, and I looked very like him. So I suppose, as he was famous, I was Dudley's doppelganger. Uh, uh, he didn't mind. In fact, I actually did something on television playing playing him, where, where I was him in a certain angle, so he, no, it doesn't really matter. But I was at somebody's doppelganger briefly. Didn't get paid. I had a moment in America in the 60s when if you were English and had slightly longer hair than everybody else, they immediately thought you were a pop star. So I was chased around a Massachusetts fairground by people who thought I was Paul McCartney. Not that I have any re resemblance to Paul McCartney whatsoever as far as I can see, but for a brief moment, I was famous. Yeah.